everyone, welcome to Nerd Bar and welcome to part one of two parts of a toy haul. Uh, this one is going to be all Transformers, robots, some of them in disguise, and G.I. Joes. Uh, part two is going to be Masters Classic stuff and a couple Mezcos. I wanted to break it into two parts so I could spend some time with each of these figures. But let's go ahead and get started. I got lots of good stuff here. I got some third party masterpiece scale. I got official masterpiece. I got some Hasbro. I got some G.I. Joe con exclusives. Let's get into it. Product placement. If you're wondering where my top 10 Masters of the Universe purchases video is, it is on the way. Uh, it's not gonna be the next video because the next video is gonna be part two of my haul. But it's definitely going to be the video after that. I've already picked my top 10 purchases of the year. I just need to film it. But as you can see, I got them all displayed nicely there. So look forward to that. Video after the next should be Masters Classics Top 10 Purchases of 2018. And the third part to my Cincy Awards. It's getting kind of late. Hopefully I can get this uh, third part of the Cincy Awards done before frickin' February. Let's get on to the haul. Joes and Bots. Alright, we're going to start with the Joes first. And we're going to start with this Vintage Joe. This is Vintage. Footloose. He's got to cut a loose. Footloose. No one understands that reference because I'm old as F. This is Footloose. He's going to kick off his Sunday shoes. But uh, I wanted to get the Vintage figure because I used to have the Vintage figure. And the 25th figure was, I think, a con. It was either a con exclusive or club exclusive. I think it was a club exclusive. And it's super freaking expensive right now. Uh, it's like over 150 bucks, something crazy. So I wanted to pick up Vintage Footloose, so I got him. Got him at the toy department. I also got a couple of these guys at toy department. I got scrap iron. This is a 25th anniversary scrap iron. Comes with a little missile launcher there. He looks awesome. Got a little scars on his face. Very, very cool. I got Airborne because Airborne was in one of my favorite comic books for G.I. Joe in the 80s. I think the title of the issue is called All Fall Down. Uh, it was just, just a freaking awesome, brutal comic. It was really, really cool, and Airborne's in it. I got Mutt and Junkyard, 25th. Looking cool there, and there is Junkyard. The Junkyard Dog, right there. Not the wrestler. I got a uh, Awe Striker. This was a Target exclusive, and I got the Awe Striker. It comes with crankcase. Pretty sure this is the only way you could get the 25th crankcase. The Awe Striker is very, very cool. I also have the Vamp already, so I'm slowly putting together some of my favorite vehicles from G.I. Joe. I really, really wish they had done a uh, Killer Whale in 25th, but we never got to see that one. And of course, I got this one at Toy Department. 30 bucks for that one. Awe Striker crankcase. Very, very awesome there. I got this one right here. This is sci-fi. I think this was 50th or was this Pursuit of Cobra? I don't remember which line this was, but uh, I think it might have been 30th or 50th. One of those. But he's cool. It's sci-fi. And I have the vintage sci-fi already, so I wanted to get the, uh, the newer updated modern version. And he looks awesome. And quite frankly, he looks so cool on card. I might just leave him on card. I don't know. I might leave him on card. Maybe look for like a uh, loose version. But I'm not sure yet. These three guys, however, have already come out of their little plastic poly bag. So for those that are not aware, Sergeant Slaughter had two groups in G.I. Joe. He had the Marauders, uh, which was like an elite group that he handpicked. And it was basically existing Joes that were in the Marauders. Footloose was in the Marauders. Uh, Low Light, Barbecue, uh, Mutton Junkyard. There was a bunch of Joes that were in the Marauders. He also had a splinter group called the Renegades. And these three guys are the Renegades. Now a little backstory on this is they actually did these Renegades in a different deco. Their actual deco from the old uh, 80s toy line. And that was part of like, I think it was a seven pack, the Slaughter's Marauders. So they're actual decos in that. This right here, these are G.I. Joe Con exclusive. So this is from the 2018 G.I. Joe Joe Con. And uh, they were sold as a three pack. I got this at Toy Department. And basically, I don't think that the Renegades were ever 
part of the Marauders. I think they were always their own thing. But what they did here for this con exclusive is they basically merged the Renegades and Marauders and they gave the Renegades the Marauders colors. So they gave them this new deco, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. So we have Taurus here, and Taurus used to be a circus guy. I forgot what his, I think he was like swordsman or something, or a trapeze artist, something like that, in the circus. And he got recruited by Sergeant Slaughter. And then you have Red Dog here, and Red Dog was a former pro football player, as evidenced by the football he's holding there. So that's pretty cool. And I think he is Samoan, I think, if I read his file card right. Um, but he's awesome. And then Mercer here, interesting story about him, used to be Cobra. So he used to be in Cobra and then he defected over to the Joes, to the Renegades when uh, Sergeant Slaughter recruited him. So that's why he has that tattoo on his arm for Cobra with a little line crossed out. So that's just a cool backstory on these three figures here. Taurus, Red Dog, Mercer. I do want to get the Slaughter's Marauders seven pack. It's 150 bucks on eBay, but it comes with a bunch of very, very cool figures. And then it comes with these three guys in their, their normal attire, their normal renegade attire. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. For those of you that are not G.I. Joe fans or those of you that might have forgotten, I just really love G.I. Joe and I like to talk about them and talk about their backstory. I think it's really cool. But there you go. There's the Joe Hall. Let's move on to the bots. So we have two third-party Stunticons here. These are Masterpiece Scale Stunticons. Let me pull them up here. And obviously I got a Prowl there too. I'll get into him in just a second, but I just wanted to show you the size comparison. Masterpiece Scale Stunticons. They will, once you get the other three, form Menasaur, which is the big combiner for the Stunticons. And this is Breakdown, and this is Wild Rider, but they are ex-trans bots, so they give them fake names, crack up, and flip out. But yeah, you're looking at Masterpiece, Scale, Wild Rider, and Breakdown right there. Very, very awesome. Um, I didn't really know about these until I started watching some people's end of year 2018 best of videos, and I think it was, I don't remember who it was. Uh, it was one of the Transformers reviewers, he put these in his top 10, and I thought they looked really cool. I love the metallic paint on them, and um, I love Menasaur, I love the Stunticon, so I was like, hell yeah, I'll do it. And they were only like 60 bucks each. I think one was 50, one was 60, but a pretty good deal for two masterpiece scale, and they're very, very well made, by the way. Very, very well made, they have weight to them. Feels like there's die cast in them. I think the feet are die cast, but I really like them. And I can't wait to get the other three to form Menasaur. And quite honestly, I'm not even sure if I will combine them to put into Menasaur just because the individual robots look so good. Um, but there you go. Yeah, I got those two. And then obviously you saw this one. I got Prowl. And this is a, a new Prowl. This is the 17 Plus. The 17 Plus is the cartoon deco for Prowl. The previous one that came out was more of the toy deco. This one comes with a different paint uh, job on Prowl. Uh, he's got those blue windows instead of the, I think it was clear or like gray or black windows on the previous one. But he looks uh, more cartoon accurate with the exception of these things. I don't think he ever had these missile launchers in the cartoon. This was more of a toy thing, but I put them on there anyway because I think it looks freaking awesome. But he does come with those. Um, but yeah, so I got MP17 Plus Prowl. It's the cartoon accurate Prowl and he is Freaking glorious. The gun is also white. I think the previous gun was gray or gunmetal. I'm not sure. But I really like him. So there is Prowl. Going back to third party, I got a third party Springer. And Springer is one of my favorite bots from the 86 movie. I just thought he was so cool. He was a triple changer. He turned from a car to a helicopter to a big freaking awesome warrior robot. And this figure right here see how big he is he is masterpiece scale i got a freaking hell of a deal on this figure right here uh big bad toy store had him for 44 dollars. this is normally an 80 dollar masterpiece scale figure he is very very well made he looks very cool got weight to him 
I don't know if he has die cast. He just he has weight to him though. The the torso might have die cast in him, but people are raving about this figure. How well made it is, uh, and how cheap it was. Again, forty four bucks. It's uh, by Open and Play, and the the thing with Open and Play is there's no instructions. You literally open the box and start playing with it. So you have to watch videos to figure out how to transform him, but it's not that complex of a transformation. The thing that people were kind of whining about was the face sculpt. I have no issues whatsoever with the face. I mean, it looks like a robot face. You compare it to, you know, that face, that face, this one here. I don't understand what the big deal is about that face. So, yeah, I'm good with it. I like it a lot. It's well, well worth the 44 bucks. So if you need a Springer Masterpiece Scale figure in your collection, I absolutely recommend the Open and Play Big Spring, aka Masterpiece Springer. And he looks very, very cool with those other MP Scale bots right there. Moving on to yet another MP Scale bot. Look at this big BAMF right here. That's Blitzwing. And uh, he is officially my favorite triple changer of all time. I always loved Blitzwing. Uh, he is so freaking huge and awesome. This is the DX9. What is his name? Gavolt. Gavolt. However you want to pronounce that. But he is a Blitzwing. And I mean, you could see how big he is. And he is hefty. He's got die cast in him. Uh, he just looks so, so absolutely cool. This did not get released in 2019. Obviously, this has been out for like a year, maybe two years. But this is easily one of my favorite purchases of the year so far. I don't know why I waited so long to get him, but uh, he is so absolutely cool. And um, he was kind of complex to transform. He uh, arrived in tank mode, and then I transformed him to airplane mode, and then transformed him to robot mode. And I do not dare to do that on camera because I will look like a complete moron trying to transform him. But I just love the way he looks in robot mode. He is gigantic and awesome. But yeah, that is um, DX9 Gavolt, Gavolt, aka Blitzwing. Very, very cool. And I got this guy here because I like the uh, Bumblebee movie. And I got Bumblebee, who's right over there, by the way, chilling out with Warduke, aka Raygor. And I wanted to get the dropkick, and I found the dropkick. And he's cool. He could use a little bit more blue on him. I think he had more blue in the movie. But I'm not complaining. He's okay. He's not bad. He looks good next to Bumblebee. Matter of fact, let me do that. Let me show you how they look together. Dropkick was a little bit bigger than Bumblebee. Um... Because I remember from the fight, and I, I rewatched the trailer, I think they showed a brief clip of the fight between those two at the end. And uh, that's a good size comparison right there. And I think they're doing another drop kick. Because um, obviously they couldn't do a triple changer with this one. So, And I know they're doing a shatter, and the shatter goes from car to bot. And they might be doing another version. I know they're also doing an Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And I got this guy, uh, Ultra Magnus. Really, really love Ultra Magnus. I'm a big fan of robots that put armor on and beef up big time. This is the Siege War for Cybertron Ultra Magnus. And let me show you. First of all, that's amazingly beautiful box art right there. Gorgeous box art. Love it. He actually does transform into the regular all-white Ultra Magnus. And then he puts his armor on and turns into the big beefed up 86 movie cartoon accurate Ultra Magnus. Very, very awesome. Love it. So there you go. That's my first uh, Siege War for Cybertron figure. Look at that box art. Makes me want to go buy the Optimus Prime. Makes me want to find the Hound and the Sideswipe. Um, possibly the Shockwave. Kind of feel like the Shockwave is, uh, I don't know. It's a uh, Voyager-sized figure for a leader class price. I know you can put all kinds of extra armor and stuff on him, but still, I kind of feel like you're getting gypped. Although, I don't know, maybe I'm dumb because this is the same exact thing. I mean, technically, that is Optimus Prime. <laughs> so this is a Voyager figure with a bunch of stuff you put on 
for a later class price. All right, I guess I take back what I just said. So I might get the Shockwave. But there's Ultra Magnus. There's my bots. Ooh, I got one more. And that one more is a Super GoBot. This is from 1985 or 6. And this is Vamp. This is the Super Vamp. I got this one at Toy Department. He's amazing looking. And he, I got him next to the Super GoBot Psykill there. Got my regular size GoBots in uh, alt mode right there. But I love Vamp. And funny story about this one, I actually picked up this Vamp at Toy Department. Went next door to Queen City Comics. Saw the GoBot comic on the shelf. Uh, and Vamp was in there. And he looked very, very cool. So I might be picking up those two GoBot comics, checking those out. Uh, it's by Tom Scioli, who did the uh, G.I. Joe Transformer series. Um, very, like, vintage look to that comic book. But, um, yeah, I might check it out. But there you go, guys. Bots, Joe's love right there. Pure love on that bar. <sighs> For those of you that might be wondering what jersey this is, I know there's at least one person that's going to ask which jersey this is. Uh, this is an Akbar's Kazan uh, hockey jersey. It's a Russian hockey team. Lots of Russian on it. Bam, there's the 360. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, thumbs upping if you liked the haul, if you liked this video. But that's it for this one. Hope you liked my Transformers GoBot singular Joe's haul. But that's it for now. Check out the next video, which is part two of this haul. Check out the video after that, which is the one that I've been promising for like weeks, which is the Masters of the Universe Classics Top 10 Purchases of 2018. But that's it for now. And adios.